And now let's move on to online dating. No, no, no. I'm not talking about me. This is not an offer from my side. Unfortunately, I am married. I mean, fortunately for me, but unfortunately for everybody else out there. But we're talking about online dating per se. And we're going to talk about Bumble today. Bumble has become a very important platform and app. It came in completely and totally different, a very, very different platform than all the others. And it's continued to really add on to that. So I'm going to first show you the new changes that they've brought in out there. Then we'll talk to Preeti Joshi of Bumble. Online dating may well be the single greatest innovation in relationships, a perfect amalgamation of technology, AI, algorithm matching as well as old school human connections. Its popularity went to a whole new level in 2020 when the pandemic hit us. Bumble, the world's first women-centric social networking app, has recently launched a new initiative called Stand for Safety. Part of the company's mission is to create a safer, kinder and more respectful internet to empower women in India to identify, prevent and combat rising digital abuse. So great, but like I said, we're going to talk to Preeti Joshi, who's Vice President of Global Strategy and Operations at Bumble. Thank you so much for joining us on the show, Preeti. So what prompted this entire Bumble Stand for Safety initiative? And share something more about the initiative. What is the need of implementing this at this point of time? Yeah, I'm so happy to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Um, and, you know, what we know at Bumble and what, what our mission is, right, is to create a safer, kinder equitable, more accountable space on the internet. And what we also know against that is that our work is never done. And so what we heard when we were kind of learning from our daters in India is that 83% of women in India experience online harassment of some kind. And in fact, one in three people experience this weekly. And so in hearing these things, we decided as, as a team that we really needed to help bring resources and tools into the hands of our Bumble users. And so what we've done is we've created the first of a kind safety guide, and we've done this in partnership with Safe City. And this guide is meant to empower women in India with crucial information to recognize, prevent, and combat the rise of digital abuse and harassment. All right, so this is great, but can you suggest some practical, real-world do's and don'ts for the digital safety of women? Yes, absolutely. So first and foremost, safety is our priority, and our community can visit kind of all of these tips and can find all of these tips and tricks inside of our um platform um, inside of our app at the Safety and Wellbeing Center. Now, when we think about some of the tips that we could offer. So first, Bumble encourages its community to use its robust block and report tool if anybody feels uncomfortable or unsafe in any way. Now, please trust your instinct and ignore, unmatch, or block someone that you do not feel comfortable with. Second, if you are experiencing any type of you know, unsolicited um, behavior, it is your responsibility and you should absolutely document the entire interaction. Preeti, you know, Bumble is one of the first apps to ban body shaming. What prompted this move and what's next for Bumble in this space? Yeah, so, you know, ultimately our data or our consumer is at the heart of everything that we do. And we hold our community accountable for their actions, like I've you know, stated earlier. And at Bumble, we have a zero tolerance for hate, aggression, or bullying, and we will do whatever we need to do to support our consumer through this journey. And so as a part of that, and as a part of our extended mission to build a safe and inclusive platform that is rooted in respect and in kindness, we have explicitly banned body shaming from the app. Now, what does that mean? We've updated our terms and our conditions to ban unsolicited and derogatory comments made about someone's appearance, body shape, size, or health. This does include language that can be deemed fat phobic, ableist, racist, colorist, homophobic, or transphobic. And Bumble uses automated safeguards to detect these comments and potentially images that go against these guidelines. And if somebody is found to be using language or visuals like this, 
then we reach out, our moderators reach out to that person and we share resources and give them a warning, right, on this behavior will not be accepted, but, and if this user or this um, consumer on our platform violates again, then we do not hesitate to block them. Preeti, I have to know this part. Given the situation that we are facing these days like lockdown and pandemic, how has the world of online dating changed? What were the biggest surprises, biggest revolutions for you? You know, last year changed the way that um, we all live our lives in, in all sorts of unexpected ways. But you're right, it has really redefined our dating rules. And it's really, you know, kind of impacted the way that our daters are navigating virtual and socially distanced dating opportunities. And so what we found in 2020 is that the year appears to have given women in particular, a lot of time and space and even courage to reflect on what kind of relationship they're looking for and to end relationships that, you know, maybe weren't working to give them the ability and the time to then focus on themselves. Thank you so much, Preeti. Thank you so much for joining us on the show.